dude. What's going on, everybody? Today we're doing sniping for dummies. It's going to be a series I'm going to do probably every other week on this channel. I'm also going to be doing trick shining for dummies as well. That's going to be coming up every week on the channel, or every other week on the channel as well. I am uh, pretty excited. There's going to be... It's going to be mostly just tips and tricks. I'm also going to be trick shining as well. So if anybody hits a shot at the end, you know, that's cool. It's going to be... Um, I hope I hit fast because it's going to be kind of weird uh, talking, sniping while trick shining or whatever. But the biggest thing I have to tell you guys is uh, class is pretty key. This is what you should be using. You can take like, a screenshot of that or whatever, and that's what you can use. Uh, I usually use tack mask too, but I don't have it on me right now. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is you need to be really good at predicting people's movements. It's what I do a lot. Uh, drag scoping is another way. You should just uh, practicing on bots helps a lot. I, but I've also learned uh, to snipe on my hosts or not to snipe on my hosts has been pretty key. I used to when I used to play a lot. I used to have a lot of lag. Also, don't do it. That guy was doing jumping around. That actually does affect your shot. It's not. It's not like uh, it, is it? It is annoying. That was so much stuttering. It is annoying but it affects your shot so much and mw3 actually bo2 mw3 you can get away with like drop shotting and stuff like that with sniping um but this guy's this guy is literally killing his shot like he's just making it really bad for himself which if he wants to do that you know whatever man but you know you guys should really just try to copy the play style that I'm using right now, just going back and forth and in the certain areas that I'm looking. I, I, learning spawns is the best way. Hijacked is kind of a weird map. I can't really tell you spawn specifically, but you know, like studio and standoff and raid, I can tell you very certain uh, key points or whatever. I usually stay in two areas. One's right here. There's a spawn down here that you can pick people off. That guy had a spawn area too as well. As you can see, I just spawned right here too. Um, a lot of people like to go on this little uh, I don't know what to call this thing. Ah, there's a name for it. I forget what it's called. If you guys can put it in the comments, I'd appreciate it. But a little shack area. I know it's not shack, but that's just what I'm going to call it. And I usually like to run up middle here. I usually don't go like going left or right, even though I just died. But uh, best thing to do is usually go up middle. Like I went right up last time, but best thing to do is usually go up middle. I'm also, just to let you guys know, I'm very like clip heavy. I, I'm, that's what I'm gonna be giving my key points at too because of course like I want to hit clips while getting to last too it's so much more enjoyable like getting to last and like you're hitting a clip or whatever um, like I said predicting people's movements uh, knowing the spawn locations um, a lot of people just love to go to this area dude which is so common but there was a little quad feed that was a lot of turning and everything into it uh, that clip was uh, pretty easy, but you know, just knowing the points, uh, everywhere I looked is usually where somebody's gonna be. And that's why I looked in those certain areas. That last guy, though, I knew he was behind me because he shot, so that's why I looked in that area. Um, kind of got a lucky no scope. It'd actually be pretty nice if I got a quad kill cam. That would be a great way to end this off. So I'm not gonna kill this guy because I want to go more towards mid, so I can have a better chance of getting a quad kill cam. Which could have happened if I hit that shot, but I didn't get it. Maybe I can, you know, get something going here. But I'm already at last. I honestly should have hit last at 20, at probably 7 minutes flat. Uh, but I didn't get it. But hopefully we can hit a shot this game too. Like I said, it's going to be really weird for me to talk about trick shotting, even though uh, it's going to be weird for me talking about sniping, even though I'm trick shotting. So I apologize if it is kind of weird, but I'll talk about more of the trick shotting aspects and everything later on, even though I'm not the greatest trick shot or anything. Like I can't even really do much. You know, I, have, I haven't been trick shotting for too long. Anyway, that's that's for a trick shotting video. Uh, practicing, I would say don't really so much practice on bots. Go into private match, try your best. Look for the certain areas that like I've been looking is one really good, uh, thing to do is just look in the areas that I look uh, Realize what spawns or what Is good you always need to know spawns if you know spawns and you know people are gonna spawn there I, I don't really exactly know somebody's gonna spawn there, but I know that there is a spawn there So there's a possibility that You know I could hit somebody 
which is always good to know. It's a, really the biggest thing about sniping, is knowing those key points. Also, you need to know how uh, people how people usually move around, how they how their movement is. It's one of the reasons why I also don't like people that jump or go prone and everything is because it's not very typical for people to do that. It's very odd when people do that. When I get into lobbies that a lot of people are doing it, then I'm used to it and I kind of aim higher or whatever. But this game, not so much I'm used to it, so I don't do it as much. That's another tip I can give. You know, spawns, movement. I mean, just generally getting better at quick scoping is another one. I don't really black scope so much. You know, I do hard scope. I mean, you don't have to be like one of those guys that's like, oh, you hard scoped or whatever. It's not, it's not really bad if you do. It's not a bad thing. You know, it happens every now and then. I and I don't even quick scope really that much. I drag scope, which is kind of like a form of hard scoping or whatever. So I don't do it very often. But uh, there's some times where I do quick scope, and there's some times where I do drag very hard. I really wish I could hit like a decent shot. That'd actually be pretty cool if I could hit it for the video. Like this one right here. That'd be nice. Uh, what's some other things? You know, class is class is key. Class setup is is very very key. It's something that I stress. I usually like to run task ta tack mask, like I said, but uh. For that time I didn't or for this time I haven't uh, I really do recommend getting better at using the DSR first because when you get really good at the DSR it seems like the ballista is so much easier to use so I'd run with that for a little while I get pretty decent at quick scoping with the DSR and then you move on to the infamous Oh, that was so close to the infamous ballista. I don't really recommend going with the XPR. The XPR is very different. The mechanics on sniping with it is very weird. Um, I think a lot of people would think it's not really the best gun to exactly start off with. I think a lot of people would think like, oh, it's semi-automatic. You can spray with it, whatever, if you need to while sniping, blah, blah, blah. It's not really a good idea to, to do that. You should try your best to get better with bow action, which is a little harder, but it's really not too hard. People get used to it. And practice is the biggest thing. You're not gonna get there in a heartbeat. It'll take a while, and yeah, it's annoying, but uh, you know, you'll get there one step at a time. And like I said, this is just studio, or this isn't studio, this is hijacked, and hijacked is kind of not is isn't really one of those maps that i can uh really so much describe the spawns and everything so when i get to like raid and studio those are the maps that i can kind of tell you exactly where to look and exactly where people spawn i don't know who the heck i just hit no! i didn't i meant to jump off but whatever that's uh that's basically it for this one hopefully you guys enjoyed it i don't even know where the heck he was I have no clue, actually. I didn't even jump off. Random, I hate you. <laughs> I messed up. I don't even know where he was. That was really weird. Completely messed up, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you if you guys want to see a little bit more of this, is if this helped you out in any way, let me know in the comments and leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.